Hi, I'm Gary. Welcome to Jargon Free Help. In this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can export slides in PowerPoint as images. So you can have them as JPEGs, TIFFs, GIFs, and even ping PNG files. And you may want to export them and have them as slides because you might want to put them, export them into something like Word where you just want to have like a thumbnail of it, or maybe use it in a video or even like as a thumbnail on a website. So whatever your reason for doing it, and I often do this and use these slides in videos. Sometimes it's side by side, picture in picture with the presenter. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Windows and on the Mac because they're slightly different. So I've got Windows in front of me here. And what I'm going to do is simply go to the file menu at the top here. And I'm going to choose Save As. And I'm going to browse to find a folder to put it in. I'm quite happy that it goes into this one here, which is my jargon free exercise files. And what I want to do is from the drop down box here, just click on that. And you'll see here in this little section here, this is where all my options are for what image format I want. So I've got GIF or GIF, JPEG, PNG and TIFF. I'm going to go in this instance for JPEG. Then I'm going to choose save. I'm, I'm happy with the folder that this is going into. I'm going to click on save and it wants to know whether I want all the slides or just this one. I'm going to choose all of my slides. What it will do is it will create a folder where I've got them. And within that, that folder will have the same name as the title of my presentation. So in this instance, I've called it saving slides as images and I will have a folder there for it. Let's just take a look here and you can see here is the folder. If I double click on it, you can see here are all the individual slides as images. This could be quite useful. So how do you do this on a Mac? Well, it's just ever so slightly different. You go into File and you choose Export, whereas on Windows it was Save As. So click on Export. It's putting it into this folder here, which is the one that I'm happy with, the Jargon Free Exercise Files. And I'm going to choose from the drop down here. I've got the same options, JPEG, TIFF, PNG and GIF or GIF. I'm going to choose JPEG again. And this time what's different is it's got save every slide or save current slide only. So it doesn't do it as a pop-up dialog box like it did on Windows. I now get the choice now. I'm going to do save every slide. And here you can see I can actually choose the width, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's fine. That's the same as high definition television. So that's good enough for a lot of the videos that I'm doing. I could change that sizing if I want to just by simply typing in the pixel size I want. However, I'm very happy with that. So I'm just going to click on export. And it now comes up with a message telling me where it has saved it. And that obviously I now know that it's complete. And I'm going to click on OK. If I go to my finder, I can see it here. So you can see it's got this one here, saving slides as images copy. That's what the presentation was called. And if I go into it, I can see the slides here and I can just press the space bar conveniently on a Mac to get a preview. That's actually a neat feature of a Mac. You can get previews of documents and also things like images, photos, and even video just by pressing the space bar. So if I press the space bar, I've got other files in there. And if I use the down arrow, I can see it here. So that's how you save your slides as images. In Windows, you do Save As, and on a Mac, you do an export. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.